Very few people that are subject to an aggravated kidnapping uh, are able to live to tell the story. But a 17-year-old did. He told police that on July 3rd, he was lured by several adults to a home in the Summerlin subdivision near Leander. It is shocking. It's shocking because uh, there's never been any indication that there's been a major crime problem around here. I think a lot of people move here just because it, they feel safer here. The teen says he was attacked, beaten up, then kidnapped. By the time your left foot is inside that vehicle and they actually put you in there, your likelihood of coming back alive is, is very, very low. The teen says he was left for dead after being taken to a secluded area outside of Leander's city limits and shot. I wouldn't even expect too much of that to go on in the city proper, much less out here on the outskirts where people tend to know each other and stuff. Criminologist Dr. Alex Del Carmen says the victim and suspects probably did know each other. From some events, social events, or even school, notice that there is typically an older person. We do see that as a factor who is likely the person that, if there's alcohol involved, would be purchasing the alcohol for them, or perhaps would be buying weapons or buying some sort of, uh, of an instrumentation that they need in order to commit the crime. The Williamson County Sheriff's Office says the shooter was 19-year-old Matthew Sabedra. He was arrested by U.S. Marshals last Thursday and charged with aggravated kidnapping and aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Four other people were arrested on Monday for being involved too. 36-year-old Danielle Marsh, 17-year-old Nathaniel Walker, and 19-year-olds Tobias Rogers and Logan Humphreys. Dr. Del Carmen says the motive for kidnapping is usually some sort of financial benefit. Uh, we, we know that 80% of the kidnappings that take place uh, there is either a ransom that is that is uh, sought after or the person's identity, the person's credit cards, cash.